Some quick thoughts on maintenance here for an electric fence and a lot of the items in general. I was just out by the fence here and reached over, just taking a look here, realized that the fence was not sending out a charge like it usually does. Real quick thing, all I did was I just touched it. I was not grounded, which unless you really want to charge, feel something strong, I recommend doing that when you have rubber shoes on. I guess technically I can't really recommend that you do this method to check your fence of touching it because uh, some people can't really stand that charge. But if you do and you've got rubber soles on, it's not going to be real strong as long as you're not touching anything else. Anyways, I did this and I realized there was no charge. So all I'm doing is just taking a quick walk down the line here. Just checking, looking to see if there is anywhere that's making any contact. I am checking the high and the low wire tape at the same time. Just walking the line, seeing nothing's making contact, but that's all we're looking for is just anywhere with contact. Uh, in case you're wondering, yeah, there is a little web right there, but uh, that's not anything to be concerned about. Just some spiders keeping the pests under control. Well, hello. And here's my assistant coming to check too. Hey. Yep. So just keep going down the line here looking. Nothing's making contact. Whoa, okay. He really wants to help or be helped, right? Yeah, you want some attention, don't you? Yeah. Gotta remember, give the animals some attention so they remember. Remember your friends, get more used to you. They'll be better responsive, take care of you, and get along well. And you can just enjoy them some more. Continuing down the line here, see there is no contact between the tape and the fence. Don't judge the neatness on the fence itself. It does its job. Keeps the cows and donkey on one side. Hey, hey, he is still coming for more attention. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, you get your moment on, on film again too. So we're just continuing on down the line. Again, looking to make sure that nothing is touching. On any side, any potential contact points. Watching out for the cow mines there. There they are. Say hello. Or don't say anything. Just look and tell us you're happy to be here. And here we are. We've come to the other end of this divider fence. And here is the culprit right here. Apparently the... Oops, excuse me. Trip over some buckets here. One of the animals, they had pushed this fence out just a little bit. So it's bent out. And it pushed this end up against the tape. So, very simple solution. Just pull this back out. And it is off. And, of course, I could add some T-posts and... There are some options to reinforce this at the moment. I'm just doing a quick walk to make sure the fence stays active. And that is it. And then the next step is just checking again. And we're getting a charge. Of course, I'm going to walk back down that line as well as up this line to make sure that these are all working. But that's all there is to it, is just walking down the line. Now, for those who see me touching the wire to test it, of course, you can get a meter that is designed specifically to test that voltage. Those are very simple to operate. You just put one contact on the tape itself. Oh, <laughs> that one got a charge. He was touching me when I touched that one. <laughs> I got him back off. Anyways, distraction by the donkey again. You touch one here and then touch to any grounding surface, one electrode to each. They do vary a little bit in how they function, but basically it'll read off how much of a charge it's getting, if it's getting one at all. If it's not getting one, that means it's grounded somewhere or the charger's not working. There you go. That's the uh, basic maintenance, and it's something that's very helpful to check every so often down the line to make sure that the charge is working and not have anything creep up as we did have one time. 
the cows had started actually ripping the tape off and I had to actually refit it all in. So a what was a couple minutes of walking down the line by not getting it fixed quick enough became a whole other task of basically reinstalling a portion of the fence. And he is hinting he needs water. Don't worry, he's got water at the other end, but I need to go ahead and refill this bin too. It's all refilled now. See, they're clearly not dehydrated. They're not even taking notice of the water coming in. But we'll have it there for them when they need it. Yeah, that's it. Go for the empty one. They do not like the spray of the hose. <laughs> Again, these small bins are just a supplement on this side of the field, so they don't have to go all the way back to the other end if they get thirsty. <laughs> 